In an acknowledgement of flourishing ties, Singapore's Prime Minister extended a cordial invitation to Crown Prince and Prime Minister Mohammed bin Salman to visit Singapore at a mutually convenient time. This invitation, revealed in a joint statement, underscores a noteworthy strengthening of the bilateral relationship between the two nations. The leaders took the opportunity to review their historical ties, culminating in the elevation of their relations into a strategic partnership. This enhanced status denotes a mutual investment in deepened cooperation across various sectors. In a notable show of gratitude, Singapore's Prime Minister expressed his appreciation for Saudi Arabia's perennial support for Singaporean pilgrims during the Hajj. In a graceful exchange, Singapore, in turn, proffered its support for the Kingdom's 2034 World Cup hosting bid. The leaders had drawn attention to the notable leaps achieved via the Saudi-Singapore Joint Committee SSJC. The discussions under its purview span connectivity, digital economy, energy, and industry. Ascending the economic realm, they navigated through the tumultuous global economy, highlighting a substantial 51% growth in bilateral trade value in 2022, emphasizing the necessity to navigate challenging landscapes the leaders emphasized the importance of engaging the Gulf Cooperation Council, Singapore Free Trade Agreement and broadening collaborations within energy, digital economy, financial services, energy, agriculture, food industries, and transport. The leaders concurred on the fundamental role of energy cooperation. Their discussions fixated on security of supply and innovative low-carbon solutions results of which will be reflected in the Energy Cooperation Roadmap. Derived from a memorandum of understanding, the roadmap will probe into clean hydrogen, carbon capture, renewable energy, and innovation. Underlining their commitment to the fight against climate change, the two nations voiced support for homegrown Saudi initiatives and adherence to the circular carbon economy approach. Agreeing on the imperativeness of cooperation in defense and security, the leaders have pledged to join forces in combating crimes and strengthening ties in international forums. Both nations express their collective ambition for bolstering cooperation in environment, water, agriculture, digital economy, connectivity, tourism, culture, education, health, and youth sectors. The two sides solidly agreed to augment cooperation within the defense and security fields, promising to coordinate on issues of common interest. This agreement aims to combat crimes in all forms, thereby building towards achieving security and stability within both nations. The leaders also devoted attention to international affairs, reaffirming determination to intensify efforts to maintain international peace and security. A mutual agreement was reached to combat extremism, fanaticism, hate speech, and terrorism, with an emphasis on promoting moderation, tolerance, and interfaith harmony. These shared values expose the extensive scope of a blossoming relationship that reaches far beyond just trade.